when I find a woman to be attractive, I want to have my hand in her pants. It's very simple. Or her hand in my pants. That's what I want. If she says, oh, Tom, can't we just be friends? No. <laughs> I have had this convers I've had this conversation recently with somebody. No. <laughs> no, we can't. Here's another reason, by the way. Let's say you've got a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Why would you want to be friends with somebody that you have no interest in? Because at some point when you've got a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you're gonna to have to tell that person to hit the road. What kind of friendship is that? You can be my friend until I have a boyfriend, and then you can't be my friend anymore. Think about this. Once I have a boyfriend, once I have a husband, you will not be my friend. Don't call me. Lose my number. I'm disconnecting my cell phone. Don't even try. Don't write to me anymore. I'm going to put you on my spam list. I'm going to delete you. Pal. Old buddy of mine. <laughs> Let's be friends, and that means you can help me move, you can lend me money, you can take me out to dinner or movies on nights when I don't have a date, you can pay attention to me, you can ogle me all you like. But once I've got a husband or a boyfriend, you can just call me your ex-friend, that I'm not your friend anymore. But I'm telling you right now, if for some strange reason I decided to have a girlfriend... <laughs> And she started telling me, oh, this is my straight friend, Ted. <laughs> I'd be saying, why is this guy calling calling the house? Why is he calling to talk to you? Why has your cell phone got 17 missed calls and they're all from the same guy? What is that? And ultimately, if she wanted to keep the relationship going, she'd get rid of him. So that's why I never, ever say yes to the friend thing with women, because why would I want to be somebody's place filler until they find the man of their dreams? Why would I want to be that? Yes, I had a woman who, uh, I'm going to tell you this story. I, I, I um, had a woman who I once spent some time with. We had lunch, a brunch or something that involved alcohol with champagne brunch, yes. And uh, later, we had uh, dinner on my patio overlooking the city of Los Angeles from the Hollywood Hills. And sometime during that evening, while the alcohol was flowing, she said, Oh, and by the way, I am not going to sleep with you. <laughs> and I said to her, Well, I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. So at the end of the evening, she left. And then a uh, month later, she, she contacted me and she's saying, well, I'd love to see you again. It's like, no. <laughs> no. She said, but but why not? I said, you know why not. You know. <laughs> you know why not. I said, you know what? Millions of women would love to sit on my patio having dinner with me, just like you did. And you got the opportunity to do it. Now, I'm going to go back through the looking glass. I'm going to go back to where I came from, doing my radio program, and you're going to stay out there and be the listener. <laughs> That's what we're going to do from now on. And she could not understand that. But why in the world would I want to continue chit-chatting with somebody where nothing is going to happen between us? I don't get it. So that once I have a relationship, or so once she has a relationship, we can just say, oh, don't call me anymore. <laughs> Forget it. Not doing it. Unbelievable. Say it. I, I just don't buy this. I, I just don't. Li I don't even like this idea of having opposite sex friends. It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. Does it? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 